Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to see delicious flavorful veg that is vegetable dum biryani recipe. This is a long process but it's definitely worth the time. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I post recipes and fun food blogs. Please do consider subscribing and click on the bell icon. Without any further ado, let's get started. Let's first saute the vegetables slightly. So in a pan heat 1 teaspoon of oil. To the hot oil add 1 cauliflower head, 2 carrots, 3 to 4 potatoes just peeled and chopped, 1/4 teaspoon salt. Give it a quick mix. Now in low flame cover and cook it for 2 minutes. So it's been 2 minutes. Now transfer the veggies to a bowl and keep it aside. Now let's dry roast the spices. In a dry pan take 2 bay leaves. Two cinnamon sticks, six cardamoms, eight cloves, two star anise, two pieces of mace, two teaspoons cumin seeds, one teaspoon fennel seeds, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon coriander seeds. Now saute the spices until you get the beautiful aroma. It will just take few seconds. So once you get the aroma, immediately turn off the flame, or else you will burn it. Transfer it to a mixi jar. Cover it with a lid, and you are going to grind it to a powder. Then you are going to add twelve cloves of garlic, one teaspoon crushed ginger, few coriander leaves. I am going to add six green chillies. If you want the biryani to be less spicy, you can reduce the number of chillies. Also, you can reduce the quantity of red chilli powder that we are going to add later. So, if you like spiciness, you can add six green chillies. Cover it with a lid and grind it to a paste. So this should be the texture. Keep it aside. Now in a pan, just heat some oil for frying. Once the oil is nice and heated, add four medium-sized thinly sliced onion. We are going to make some fried onions. Now you need to fry the onions until it turns golden brown in color. It will approximately take 15 minutes for the onion to turn golden brown in color. So be patient. So after 20 minutes, you'll get this beautiful color. Remove the onion immediately from the oil, or else the onion will taste bitter. Keep it aside. Now, in a bowl, just add in the veggies. Then in goes homemade biryani masala, 200 grams chopped paneer pieces, one tablespoon red chilli powder. So you can decrease if you want it less spicy. One fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, salt as needed. Three tablespoons of refined oil. One and one four cup of thick curd. Add in half of the fried onions. Lastly, add juice from one lemon. Now give everything a good mix. This mixture is ready to marinate. So cover the bowl using aluminium foil paper, cling wrap, or lid. So after covering it well, you need to keep the bowl in the fridge for four to eight hours. I'm going to keep it overnight for the veggies to absorb the masalas really well. So this bowl is going into the fridge for eight hours. So it's been eight hours. In a bowl, take four cups of basmati rice. This quantity serves ten people, so you can easily increase or decrease the recipe. Now add some water enough to soak the rice. Let the rice soak for 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, in a pan, heat one teaspoon of oil. Once the oil is nice and heated, add one bay leaf, two cardamoms, two cloves, one star anise, one cinnamon stick. These spices gives nice flavor to the basmati rice. Saute for few seconds. Now fill half the pan with water, or water enough to boil the rice. Just add one more teaspoon of oil, then add salt as needed for the rice. Now give it a quick mix. Now cover the pan with the lid and wait until the water starts to boil. So once the water starts to boil, add in the soaked rice. Remove the water and then add in. Mix it gently. Now cover the lid and cook the rice for five to seven minutes. Do not overcook the rice. So after five minutes, check the rice whether it's done and remove it immediately from the water for it not to cook further. Keep the rice aside. In a pan, heat three teaspoons of oil. Then add in the marinated veggies. Wow, the veggies have absorbed the flavor really well. 
give it a mix now cover the pan with the lid and let it cook in low flame for about 20 minutes or until the veggies are half cooked so make sure the flame is low or else the veggies will burn so once the veggies are half cooked remove the lid give it a mix now add about 1/4 cup of water and give it a mix in a small cup just reserve some gravy don't remove all the gravy just remove some keep this aside now level up the veggies now using your hand just spread half the basmati rice then add a layer of coriander leaves and mint leaves a layer of some fried onions then pour the gravy all over then add in the remaining rice a layer of mint leaves and coriander leaves add in the remaining fried onion Here I have a mixture of half cup of milk plus few drops of yellow food color. Instead of this, you can add some saffron milk. This gives nice color to the biryani. Then in goes a mixture of half cup of water plus one tablespoon of ghee. You can add more ghee if you want. Just pour it over. So this looks perfect already. Now cover the pan with the lid. Place some heavy object over it. Make sure there are no gaps in the sides. It needs to be completely sealed. Feel free to add more weights. Now in low flame you need to cook it for 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes do not remove the lid and weights. Let it remain closed for about 15 more minutes so that the rice will absorb more flavor. So guys, after 15 more minutes of resting you can remove the lid and weight. So no more waiting, it's now ready to dig in. The aroma is fantastic. So let's now serve. So using a spatula start digging it from the sides. So you have the perfect layers. Do try this recipe and let me know how it turned out you guys in the comment section below. Just make sure you add the right amount of salt and spiciness. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos. Until then bye bye.